Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer for Thursday the 28th of April. I'm Reverend Angela Peverell. Today we are saying our prayers in the parish of Musselbrook and in Musselbrook we worship on land traditionally cared for by the Wanarua and the Kamilaroi peoples. So we pay our respects to their elders past, present and emerging. Let us pray. This is the message that we have heard from Christ, that God is light, in whom there is no darkness at all. Glory to God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Our opening canticle is the song of God's Herald. Go up to a high mountain, herald of good tidings to Zion. Lift up your voice with strength, herald of good tidings to Jerusalem. Lift up your voice, fear not. Say to the cities of Judah, Behold your God. See the Lord coming with power, coming to rule with his mighty arm. He brings his reward for the people of God, the recompense for those who are saved. God will feed his flock like a shepherd and gather lambs in his arms. He will hold them to his breast and gently lead those who are with young. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind as we rejoice in the gift of this new day. So may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Our psalm this morning is Psalm 143. Hear my prayer, O Lord, in your faithfulness consider my petition. And in your righteousness give me answer. Bring not your servant into judgment, for in your sight can no one living be justified. For the enemy has pursued me. They have crushed my life to the ground. They have made me dwell in darkness, like those forever dead. Therefore my spirit grows faint and my heart is appalled within me. I remember the days of old. I think on all that you have done. I consider the works of your hands. I stretch out my hands towards you. My soul yearns for you like a thirsty land. Be swift to hear me, O Lord, for my spirit fails. Hide not your face from me, lest I be like those who go down to the pit. O oh, let me hear of your merciful kindness in the morning, for my trust is in you. Show me the way that I should go, for you are my hope. Deliver me from my enemies, O Lord, for I run to you for shelter. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Let your kindly spirit lead me in an even path. For your name's sake, O Lord, preserve my life. And for the sake of your righteousness, bring me out of trouble. In your merciful goodness, slay my enemies and destroy all those who come against me. For truly I am your servant. Almighty God, who so wonderfully created us in your own image, and yet more wonderfully restored us in your Son, Jesus Christ, grant that he, as he came to share our human nature, so may we be partakers of his divine glory, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our reading this morning comes from the first letter of Peter, chapter 4. You have already spent enough time in doing what Gentiles like to do, living in licentiousness, passions, drunkenness, revels, carousing and lawless idolatry. They are surprised that you no longer join them in the same excesses of dissipation, and so they blaspheme. But they will have to give an account to him who stands ready to judge the living and the dead. For this is the reason the gospel was proclaimed, even to the dead, so that though they had been judged in the flesh as everyone is judged, they might live in the spirit as God does. The end of all things is near. Therefore be serious and discipline yourselves for the sake of your prayers. Above all, maintain constant love for one another, for love covers a multitude of sins. Be hospitable to one another without complaining. 
like good stewards of the manifold grace of God, serve one another with whatever gift each of you has received. Whoever speaks must do so as one speaking the very words of God. Whoever serves must do so with the strength that God supplies, so that God may be glorified in all things through Jesus Christ. To him belong the glory and the power for ever and ever. Amen. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. The canticle is the hymn of the word. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God, he was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him was not anything that was made made. In him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness shall not overcome it. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, yet the world knew him not. He came to power in his own home, and his own people received him not. But to all who received him, who believed on his name, he has given power to become children of God, who were not born of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, full of grace and truth. We have beheld his glory, glory as the only Son of the Father. And from his fullness we have all received grace upon grace. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and for ever. Amen. Our prayer for the second Sunday after Easter. Almighty God, whose Son Jesus Christ is the resurrection and life of all who put their trust in him, raise us, we pray, from the death of sin into the life of righteousness that we may forever see the things which are above, where he reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Praise and honour to you, Lord Jesus Christ, for you have triumphed gloriously. We pray for your world, for the welfare of all your people, for your creation entrusted to our care for all positions of authority, for men and women in their daily work. We pray for our Prime Minister Scott, our Premier Dominic, our local representatives in federal and state government, and for all our local government leaders. And we pray for all who are seeking election at this federal election in May. Transform us with your spirit of righteousness that all your people may share in the freedom of your risen life. Risen God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Prayer and honour to you, Lord Jesus Christ, for you have cancelled the power of sin. We pray for your church throughout the world, and we pray today especially for our Diocese of Newcastle, for our bishops Peter, Sonia and Charlie, and for all the clergy of this diocese. We pay, pray for our local parishes and for all who serve in ordained and lay ministries. Transform your church with the spirit of wisdom and truth, that we may be witnesses to your risen life. Risen God in your mercy, hear our prayer. Praise and honour to you, Lord Jesus Christ, for you show us the mighty power of love. Establish your just and gentle rule in those places in our world where there is conflict. 
most especially remembering the people of the Ukraine today, that those who are in authority may act justly, with honesty and integrity, according to your will, and with favour on the nations of the world scarred by hatred, strife and war. And we pray for the communities in which we live and work, for our families and our friends, for all whom we love, and for the forgotten people of our society. Transform our lives with your spirit of love and forgiveness, that we may share in the joy of your risen life. Risen God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Praise and honour to you, Lord Jesus Christ, for you bring us hope when all hope, when all seems lost. We pray for those who suffer, the homeless, the homeless and the hungry, the lonely and the friendless, the sick and the sorrowing, and for all who care for them. We hold up in prayer to you those who have asked for our prayers and those who are known only to you, O Lord. Mend broken relationships, heal bodies that suffer chronic pain and strengthen and deliver those whose spirits are troubled. That they may share your hope and the hope of your risen life. Risen God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Praise and honour to you, Lord Jesus Christ, for you have broken the bonds of death. We pray for the immortal souls of those who have died recently and those whose anniversary of death occurs at about this time. We pray, pray that we may share with them and all your saints in the joy of heaven, where there is neither sorrow nor pain, but life everlasting. Rest eternal grant to them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. Almighty God, you have promised to hear our prayers. Grant that what we have asked in faith we may, by your grace, receive. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord and Heavenly Father, you have brought us safely to this new day. Keep us by your mighty power. Protect us from sin. Guard us from every kind of danger. And in all we do this day, direct us in the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of peace equip us with everything good so that we may do his will. And may he work in us that which is pleasing in his sight through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory for ever. Amen. <laughs>